Hey guys, this is Greg Dooley from the Invictors History Show, and what we have here is what we call This Week in Michigan Football History, and this is a segment that I've done on the pregame show on WTKA 1050 AM in Ann Arbor as part of their Key Bank Countdown to Kickoff for, at this point, 11 years. This is the clip for the October 31st, 2020 game against Michigan State. I hope you enjoy it. If you like these clips, these videos, uh, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thanks. This week in Michigan football history. Good morning and happy Halloween. Did you know this is the 21st time your beloved Michigan has played on October 31st? But we've never faced the Spartans on this day in any of the forms our farming friends have taken over the years. Not MAC, not MSC, or MSU. Due to the circumstances around the coronavirus, today will likely prove to be the lowest attended game in Michigan Stadium history. The 1931 Wisconsin game holds that distinction today with just over 9,000 fans, but did you know that was not a planned game on the original schedule? It was a special event to benefit charity, though it did count in the Big Ten standings. The next two lowest are two double headers to start the 1930 and 31 seasons that not even 14,000 fans bothered to attend. After that, you have to go to 1943 to the Western Michigan and Wisconsin games for the next lowest attendance when football took a backstage to World War II. Back to today, beyond the in-state bragging rights, we have the matter of the Paul Bunyan Trophy. Michigan fans traditionally have not had a ton of love for the strangely gigantic wood sculpture of the bearded fellow, and there are many reasons for that. It probably has to do with this week in Michigan football exactly 117 years ago today. It was Halloween 1903 when the entire concept of a college football rivalry trophy tradition was hatched. It happened when Fielding HOs bought a 30 cent water jug on a trip to Minnesota. After the game, the Gophers found it, kept it as a trophy, and we've played for it since 1909. Thanks to last weekend's 49-24 beatdown, today the Little Brown Jug rests safely inside Schembechler Hall. Those events on this day 117 years ago spawned over 100 trophies between other schools, including axes, spittoons, buckets, and cups. Given Michigan helped start this entire tradition, it's no wonder Wolverine fans don't get excited about the new Paul Bunyan Trophy, which didn't get its start for five decades after the jug. Rest assured, your beloved Wolverines lead the series 38 27 with two ties and fully intend to keep Paul home. So go blue, beat Sparty. Happy Halloween. And for more, check out WTKA.com and MVictors.com for the Key Bank Countdown to Kickoff. This is Greg Dooley.